40 seconds to answer correctly, four in a row, or be credited with your highest score. Anneli, Stieg and Ray. Anneli, you get into this round first. There are the categories. Mathematics, the 50s, holiday resorts and books. Anneli, which category would you like? None. None, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Well, we, we just have a chat then, maybe, generally. And... <laughs> well, we can do it generally. <laughs> I'll choose the 50s. The 50s. And Ellie, uh, will you come and join me here, please, for your solo head-to-head -head round on the 50s? I will not say a word about your choice, and Ellie, lest I be marked down as unchivalrous among my peers. And Ellie, you know how to play uh, four in a row, don't you? Yes. And you've been watching the programme, know how it's done. Okay, you ready to play it? Yes. Let's put 40 seconds on the clock for Anneli. She will have that length of time to answer correctly four in a row or be credited with your highest score. Anneli, on the 50s, your time starts now. Which US president of the 50s was known as Ike? Eisenhower. Correct. On October the 29th, 1956, forces from which country invaded Egypt and advanced on the Suez Canal? Israel. Correct. Name the 50s musical that set the story of Romeo and Juliet in New York. Western story? Correct. Which Australian city hosted the 1956 Summer Olympic Melbourne. Games? Melbourne is correct, Anneli. The 50s. Well done. Well done. Well, the 50s was right. It just shows you if you do well in the beat the buzz around you, get into four in a row first, you have a first choice. Stieg, you have second choice. Mathematics, holiday resorts, or books? I think I'd take uh, holiday resorts. Please. Holiday resorts. Yeah. Stieg, will you come and join me here, please, for your uh, four in a row round? You know how to play the game by now. You've been here before. All right, we'll put the 40 seconds on the clock for you now. Those 40 seconds to answer correctly four in a row on holiday resorts. Stieg, your time starts now. Acapulco has become known as the Riviera of Mexico. which... Mexico. is correct. In which ocean are the Seychelles, an island republic increasing... Uh, Indian Ocean. Correct. Which resort city on the French Riviera holds an international film festival at the Palais des Festivals? Uh, Con. It's correct. Name the desert resort in Riverside County, California, originally known as Alagua Caliente for its hot springs. Hot springs. Pardon? Hot springs. It's not the correct answer, it's Palm Springs. Russian people often holiday at camps around Odessa, which is on the coast of which sea? Black Sea. Correct. What's the famous sector of Rio de Janeiro, famed for its four kilometer curved beach? Hot. Copacabana. What's the name of the port of Athens, from which one can travel by ship to the resort of the Aegean? Prius. Correct. Which resort on England's south coast is famous for its Indian style? Oh, it's Indian style Royal Pavilion and Regency Squares. As a matter of interest, it is Brighton. Right. Steve, you didn't make four in a row, but you did get to three. Hard luck on Palm Springs. Right, so that's Anneli and Steeg with four and three points each. Ray, you're left with the choice of mathematics or books. Which will it be? But I've left my calculator behind, so <laughs> I think I'll go for books. Right, Ray, will you come and join me here, please, for your solo round on books? Let me tell you that if you score three, you'll be in a tiebreaker with Stieg. If you score four in a row, you'll be in that head-to-head uh, -head final today and going for gold with Anneli. Ray, we'll put 40 seconds on the clock for you now. There they go. You'll have all that 40 seconds to answer correctly four in a row or be credited with your highest score. Ray, on books, your time starts now. What sort of book is prepared by a lexicographer? Pass. A dictionary. The Gideons International distributes what book to hotel rooms? Bible. Correct. Who wrote The Three Musketeers? Alexander Dumas. Correct. Which revolutionary leader wrote Imperialism, the highest stage of capitalism in 1917? No, Lenin. Which British mathematician and philosopher co-authored the three-volume Principia Mathematica with Whitehead? Kepler. No, Russell. James Fenimore Cooper wrote The Last of? Fenimore. Correct. Although born in South Africa, what nationality was J.R.R. Tolkien, the author of The Lord of the Rings? English. English or British is correct. What relation was the philosopher and psychologist William James to the great novelist Henry James? Brother. He was indeed. The author of the novel of human... Ah. Uh, the author of the novel Ray of Human Bondage was Somerset, and I bet you'd have known it was Somerset Vaughan. It was, but too late. Alas, you didn't score four in a row, but you have scored three, which is good news for you, Ray. If you go back, I'll tell you. It means, in fact, that if we look at the score, we see that Anneli is through to our head-to-head -head final because she has scored four in a row. Stieg and Ray are now in a tiebreaker with three points each. And so, will you clear the scores, please, and we will play a tiebreaker. Gentlemen, I'm sure you know if you've been watching and we've told you how to play tiebreakers. I'll ask a series of questions. It's buzzer time again. <laughs> Hands in the buzzers. One point for each correct answer. Two points to go through to that final. Hands in the buzzer, gentlemen. What is my name? I'm a film made in 1939 by MGM. My story is the adventures of a girl... Stieg. Gone with a win. ...is not the correct answer. Ray, you have the rest of the question to yourself. It's the adventures of a girl and her little dog, Toto, in a fantasy land. The characters she befriends include the tin man, the scarecrow and a lion. Ray. 
The Wizard of Oz. Is the correct answer. You've got one point. You're off the mark. Right, hands on the buzzers again. What am I? I am a small wind instrument with one metal reed to each note. I am made in various sizes, most often with ranges upwards from middle C. I'm mainly used informally, but works have been written for Larry Adler, my most notable exponent. I am... Ray? Mouth organ. A mouth organ or a harmonic is the correct answer, Ray. Well done. That's the two points that you needed. It means that you're in that final with an Elliot. It means that for today, Steve, but only for today, we have to say goodbye to you. But we'll see you tomorrow on Going For Gold. So now can I ask Anneli, please, and Ray to come and join me in today's final. <laughs> and Going For Gold, we have arrived at today's final on Going For Gold, and it's between Sweden and Northern Ireland, between Ray Patton from Belfast, Northern Ireland, and Anneli Hakansen from Sweden. Who got into this round first? And therefore, Anneli, the first choice is going to be yours. The first subject is business. There's an extra clue for you watching at home on the subject of business. Anneli, will you play or pass? I'll play. You will play on business. Remember, that means you have control of the game in the big four zone and you need nine points to win. And on business, your time starts now. I was born in Bavaria in 1829 and died in 1902. I emigrated to San Francisco in 1850 during the gold rush. Discovering the miners required durable trousers, I hired a tailor to make clothes out of tent canvas. With my two Ray. Uh, Levi Strauss. Levi Strauss is the correct answer in the three zone. So, first score to Northern Ireland to Ray Patton from Belfast and Nelly Hackhansen. That means you're playing catch up. The subject is 20th century figures, and there's a clue on the screen for you watching at home. Anneli, on 20th century figures, play or pass? I'll play. You will play on 20th century figures. Your time starts. Now, I was born in the USA in 1939 and died in 1963. I dropped out of high school to join the Marines. I was discharged in 1950. John F. Kennedy. Is not the correct answer. It means Ray Patton for Northern Ireland. You have control of the game and time continues now. I was discharged in 1959 and went to live in Russia, returning to the USA three years later with a Russian wife. I was arrested for killing a police officer and suspected of a more historic assassination, but was killed before I could be brought... Lee Harvey Oswald. Lee Harvey Oswald is the correct answer in the two zone. Right. But with your two to Ray Patton's three for Northern Ireland, and Elliot means you're playing catch up yet again. The subject is biology. There's a clue on the screen for you watching at home on biology, and Elliot, play or pass? I'll play. You'll play on biology, okay. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you might get a question that you do know something yes. about on biology. And Ellie, your time starts. Now, I am a process that is important in biology. I was first thoroughly studied in 1877 by a German plant physiologist, Wilhelm Pfeffer. I am the flow of water or other solvent through a semi permit <laughs> Ray. Osmosis? Osmosis is the correct answer. Well thought and well waited. That takes you to six. It means, yet again, Anneli, you are playing catch-up. The subject is the USA, the United States of America. There's a clue for you watching at home. On the USA, Anneli? I'll play. You will play on the USA. You have two to raise six. You need nine to win. Your time starts now. I am a city that is the second largest in my state and whose origins can be traced to a cavern built on the bank of the Trinity River. Growth was more rapid with the arrival of the railroad, but with the discovery of the East Texas oil fields... Ray. Santa Fe? Santa Fe is not the correct answer. It means that, Anneli, you have control of the game and time continues now. With the discovery of the East Texas oil field, I became an important centre for the petroleum industry. I am 53 kilometres... Houston? Is not the correct answer. It means that, Ray, you have control of the game in the time available left and it continues now. I am 53 kilometres from four... Ray. Dallas? Dallas is correct. Well done. Answered in the two zone. That brings you very close to a win today, Ray. You're on eight. And Nelly Hakansen, you are on two. The subject is history. There's a clue on the screen for you watching at home. Player pass, Anneli. Still have to play. You still have to play each time. And Ellie, on history, your time starts now. I am an 18th century Franciscan mission in San Antonio, Texas. Built in 1716, I was later abandoned and fell into ruin. Spanish troops rebuilt me in 1801 during the Texan War, Ray. The Alamo? The Alamo is the correct answer in the three zone. That takes you to 11 and you're today's winner. Well done, Ray. Well done. Well done. That means that Ray Patton from Northern Ireland is today's winner. He goes into tomorrow's weekly final on Going for Gold. And, of course, you get the lovely memento, which is exclusive to winning contestants on Going for Gold. It means that, alas, for today, we say goodbye to Anneli Hakansen, but you'll have that one famous final chance on the last day tomorrow in this week's Going for Gold. So, to Anneli Hakansen, to Ray Patton, and to all our contestants, goodbye from me. See you tomorrow on Going for Gold. Bye-bye. Well done. <laughs> Tonight
tonight is time for TNA, the main event. We present Hardcore Justice from 10 tonight. Challenge is, after all, the UK home of TNA.